Hey, hey, Gemini. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader, coming to bring you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. Now through Sunday, I'm going to do buy one, get one. So with your purchase of any coffee or tea, you can get any mug 50% off. Okay. And just remember, I don't ship it. I don't ship um, internationally. <clears throat> so this is a good time to get your Gemini mug half off. Okay. And that's now through Sunday. You can visit www.theglamcafe.com. Personal readings are not open right now. And let's get into this. So I got to get in and get out today because I got orders to <coughs> fill. And I know once I put this sale on social media, I'm going to have even more orders to fill. So got to get in and get out. What's the energy for Gemini today? What is the energy for energy? Something's going to be intensified in the spring of next year. Something's going to be intensified in the spring of next year. Some of you guys are, be get, are, are going to be getting married in the spring of next year. There's going to be some kind of union in the spring of next year. My polar desk, all those nicks and stuff. I think it gives my desk character, but <laughs> all those nicks and stuff, all this right here comes from me banging the cards. <laughs> And y'all know I can't bang my cards too hard because my knuckle is just ridiculous, ridiculously sore. Okay, so that wanted to come out. <sighs> Protection came out yesterday in a different deck. It wasn't this. It was the Animal Familiar's deck. But Protection came out yesterday. Totally different deck. Some of you guys need to get on your protection work. Wow, cards just flying out my damn hand. Clearance. Some of you guys need to clean up some stuff. So I'm going to do with a broom. I, if you watch my older videos, you know how to use a broom for protection, spiritual protection. But I feel like some of you guys need to clear some things. There needs to be and, and ground. And you need to ground yourselves. Go stick your feet in some dirt. Prosperity. Mm-hmm. Prosperity. I like you. Some of you guys need to protect your finances from people. I just get the sense that somebody may know that you're coming. For some of you guys, y'all are coming into something. Coming into some money. Coming into something. And you're going to have people trying to come around you because they know you got it. Protect yourself. Okay. Protection. Psalm 91. If you work with the Bible. If you don't, just make up some kind of statement. Affirmation. I am always fully protected. I am always safe and fully protected. I am always safe and fully protected. There you go. Affirmation. Okay. But some of y'all need to get on y'all protection. Okay. I'm going to take that because that wanted to go. Love begins. I've been feeling so lovey-dovey lately. Hell, maybe I'm coming into some kind of love because I've been feeling super lovey-dovey lately. And that's not even normal. Emotional withdrawal. That has come out before. That's overall energy for Gemini. That has come out this week. <clears throat> throat chakra. Some of y'all exercising that throat. Throat baby. <laughs> It's way too early for that. I know. <laughs> it's never too early. It's never too early. Some of y'all, some of y'all need, need to get some joy and cheer in your life for real. Learn how to laugh. That's one thing. I used to be a very negative person. You wouldn't be able to tell it now, but it was something that I worked on. Um, I used to be a very negative person, and laughing makes me so happy. I love to laugh. I probably joke more than I should. Um, everything is kind of funny to me and I am the person who will make a joke at the wrong time 
<laughs> and my friends be looking at me like, bitch, for real. Like, this is not the time. <laughs> so, some of y'all need some joy. Lighten up. Stop being so uptight. Laugh a little. Okay, let's clarify. We're going to start with the little deck. I actually need another little deck. I really like these little decks. The small ones. They're easy to shuffle. Fit in your hand good. I have some decks that are beautiful. But they did. whoever makes these decks, they don't think about the reader in their hand size. Most readers are women. Okay? So you make these ginormous ass decks. Our hands aren't that damn big. Like, they don't think about that when they're making decks. But they should. I have so many decks, it's not even funny. And a lot of them I don't use because... I don't feel good like the cards have to feel when you're a reader I don't know about anybody else but for me when you're a reader the cards have to feel good in my hand if they feel good in my hand I'm confident about what's coming out I'm confident about the read okay hmm some of y'all gonna read somebody yes ma'am yes ma'am some of y'all some of y'all either gonna read somebody or have read somebody for filth here yeah yeah some of y'all sick of somebody oh yeah you run out of patience <laughs> could be dealing with a Leo, a leo or a libra some of y'all has run some some of y'all have run out of patience here okay you run all out of compassion here for this person and or this situation you fresh out okay um yeah somebody else uh, some of y'all are gonna literally read somebody me a little more on this. Maybe more than one person. Y'all might gather these people together. Gather them together and tell them off. Maybe more than one person involved here. But I do see some of y'all exercising y'all throat chakra. Definitely. Clarify protection. Clarify protection. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I wasn't too far off with that throat, baby. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all protecting y'all self. So. Some of y'all are very, I'm going to say this. Some of y'all are tempted by somebody. There is somebody that you're dealing with that you are tempted by. You actually know if this person whisper in your ear and you get by yourself with this person, they got you. Um, and so some of you guys are protecting yourselves from this person by staying away. This person has tried to come towards you and apologize and or um, have some kind of emotional communication with you. But they come in. They come in wanting to give you this. See, they they want to. I'm just gonna go ahead. They come in wanting to give you the dick, okay? And I feel like to keep confusion down with this five of with this five of wands in reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo, baby. Them Leos. Mm -mm -mm. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Ace of Wands is just Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? But uh, to keep confusion down, I feel like you try to stay away from this person or protect. So that's your form of protection. Clarify protection. Yeah. To keep you out of disappointment. Okay. To keep you away out of disappointment for, for this person. Because I feel like you just expect this person to only lead with this. To only want to have sex. Okay. Five of Cups is Scorpio energy. So. Clarify clearance. Some of you guys need to clear something away. Some kind of third party situation or some kind of, well, there his ass go. So it's saying that some of y'all need, need to clear out this. Uh, so you're probably not with this emperor. Could be dealing with Aries. Three of Cups is Cancer Energy. Y'all aren't with this emperor. You probably aren't physically with this emperor, but mentally 
you're still there, okay? Mentally, and, and I would even venture out to say emotionally, especially with this Three of Cups in reverse. You're still stuck here uh, with this Pisces energy, um, with this hangman. You're still stuck here. Uh, and I've been telling y'all all week, they want you stuck here. So if you're constantly thinking about this person, it's because they're manifesting you in, okay? I have been manifesting for my son a starting position. All I say is my son is a starter on the football team. He is healthy and immune to illness and injury. And I repeat that on loop all day long, okay? He called me yesterday so excited about his first day at camp and how he was defender of the day. That is me changing, and I didn't even light a candle for him. I didn't do, all I did was affirmation for him, okay? And that's me consciously doing it. That's me consciously doing it. But for a lot of y'all, the person that you're dealing with is unconsciously doing it because they don't know that they're doing it. Now, I'm going to venture to say this. If it's a woman, she probably knows what she's doing because we're more into spirituality and that kind of stuff. We're more into that. Guys aren't really into that unless they're spiritual, okay? But if this is a guy, he's just, he doesn't know what he's doing, okay? So this man could be thinking in his mind, she loves me and only me. She has to love me and only me. There's no way she loves anybody else. If he's thinking those thoughts 24-7, 365, you'll be, you're stuck, okay? So a lot of you guys are always thinking about this person, always spying on this person. Because if you're watching me, you're spying. You're spying through tarot, okay? Your little page of swords. That's what you're doing. Tarot, when you come, when you click on my video, the first thing you do is have your person in mind. You're waiting for me to say that person's sign. And you're watching me every day. So you're spying on this person. Um, This person's, this person is manifesting you. This is saying that you would have to clear this out in order for the will of fortune to come in. There's some fortune coming towards you. But you have to clear out this energy. I feel like there's some prosperity here for you. But they want you or you need to clear out that energy. Okay. Clarify grounding. Clarify grounding. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's a king of wands here that you need to let go of. Okay. That you need to ground yourself from. That's who keep coming in trying to give you that dick. King of Wands, Leo Cancer Energy. This is somebody that you were in a commitment with, okay? And they may want commitment. They still want commitment with you. And I feel like that's that's why you're up in the air. They still want commitment with you if you notice this person is facing the Four of Wands, which is commitment. This is facing them. You want an ending. Look at this shit. You want an ending, but you watching. So which one is it? You gon' okay. So that's the why this grounding card is here. This is you. You know, you in my comments claiming you don't want this person no more. You can't stand them. They awful. Blah 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 blah. But you still watching their ass. So spirits like, well, what do you want? Cause you keep telling this lady that you don't want this person no more. And just mind you, the reason why. This this keeps coming out in the readings. It's because your energy is focused there. If you was really focused on new, and that was the overwhelming energy of the collective, the Gemini collective, then new would come out. This is Scorpio energy here and air energy. Um, specifically, Gemini out is Page of Swords. Uh, so you saying that you don't want no more. You want things to end, but you watching them. This person. So this is kind of like you versus them. They're facing towards the four of wands. They want some kind of connection or commitment, okay? So this is saying that you need to ground. If you're saying that you don't want them no more, then your actions need to line up, okay? You need to ground yourself. You, you're two of pentacles right now is basically what that's saying. Let's get a different deck.
clarify love begins mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow ace of cups could be dealing with a leo uh, a leo a taurus Aquarius or Scorpio. Those are the fixed elements of the entire Zodiac. Um, you could have new love coming in. Clarify Ace of Cups. After you fully let go of the previous. Clarify Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups? Okay. Yeah. After you fully move on and leave this. Okay, I also feel like you're coming into some money here. Also, with this Queen of Pentacles here, um, Capricorn Sagittarius energy, this Queen of Pentacles. Oh yeah, Nine of Pentacles. See, a lot of y'all are really focused on your money. Okay, and now new love is coming in. Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Um, but yeah, some of y'all are really focused there, nurturing self. Okay. But in order for this love to begin, because see, you've kind of got this money thing down. But in order for new love to come in, you got to fully move on and leave and close the cycle out. You got to fully move on and close the cycle out. Six of Swords is Aquarius energy. You got to fully leave and, and close out this cycle. And you have it. Okay. Clarify prosperity. Clarify prosperity. I feel like somebody that was trying to purposely block you and trap you or keep you in place or keep you stuck. I feel like that's coming to an end. Yeah. Five, five, five. Uh, Ace of, I mean, the five of wands came out twice here. Five of wands, that's Leo energy. Five of swords in reverse is Aquarius energy. I feel like this person is going <laughs> to... I feel like you defend yourself or you, you fend off, you fend this off, if that makes sense, but you defend yourself against it. Okay. I feel like they're not going to be able to block. I said, I, th I think I said this yesterday, whatever plans that they had, that shit going to fall apart. I feel like you stand firm. You stand firm on, on whatever, um, a lot of you guys are going through divorce or have divorce proceedings going on. This person tried to entrap you or tried to keep you stuck, but you stood firm. The plan that they had, that shit is going to fall apart with this five, 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 five in reverse. That shit going to fall apart. With this queen of pentacles here, you're going to get what you do, what you're owed. Yeah. Yep. This is Gemini Cancer energy. You're going to get what you're owed. Yeah. For those of you guys in that situation, you guys are definitely going to walk away. Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. You you guys are definitely going to walk away. Eight, eight. <clears throat> you guys are definitely going to walk away. But whatever plans that they had for you, that shit, that, that shit going to fall apart. Clarify emotional withdrawal. Yeah, you're emotionally withdrawn and moving and taking a different direction. Mm -hmm. You're you, yeah, you're headed in a different direction. Totally, head held high too. Look at that. I was waiting on eight wands. Eight eight eight. Some of y'all got some money coming. I love eight eight eight. Whenever I see eight eight eight, I get excited. <laughs> um, some of y'all got some money coming. But some of you guys are, are, are confidently and boldly walking in a new direction, okay? Four of Pentacles. I feel like some of you guys have gotten a handle on your finances. You have released whatever it is. You've released whatever it was that was holding you back, okay? Or you will release it, and you are going to boldly move in a new direction. More Pisces energy. So even though this person has you stuck, I feel like you're going to release yourself. You got to, because that's what the, that's what's going to bring the will of fortune in. You got to. Hmm. I like it. 
So Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. Again, I'm doing the buy one, get one half off sale from now until Sunday in, with your purchase of any coffee or tea. Um, and I do do whole bean ground. Um, but with any purchase of coffee or tea, you can get any mug. So this would be a good time to get your Gemini mug. You can get any mug 50% off. Personal readings aren't open right now. Probably won't be until around Labor Day. I might do a Labor Day and open it up then. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.